Thank you for tuning in to Junk Squad Vlogs. Back with another video, guys. Now, this is the third time being at this property, guys. And we are back. And once again, Florissant, Missouri. And um, we're just coming to finish the job. A lot of that stuff that you see will get bagged or thrown in the trash can. And that'll be cleared out. And everything else, he's running a few things out. And we have a few box springs to get. A day in my life as a small business owner. If you're thinking of starting junk removal, be sure to get you a trailer that can hold the weight. If you can. If not, start with the pickup. You know the rules. Start with what you have. Reading is fundamental. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't need... Oh, that power prone is what's up. We got some goodies, guys. So we arrived at this job with money already on the trailer. You know, we have a tarp worth of siding. And now uh, we're coming to get this uh, half a load from him. So that's another benefit of having enough room, a large trailer. Get the 16 foot tandem axle or the dump trailer, of course. But man, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm starting to say you only need a dump trailer if you plan on doing construction debris. If you're just going to be doing furniture and household things, man, honestly, you can get by without it. But, you know, it just depends on what you prefer. What you think, guys? It's a sit-up, sit-up machine. Not a machine, but you know, goes gym. Another cool find. <laughs> Oh. 